Congratulations for the 50th anniversary to CCRI and the rededication of the Bobby Hackett Theater. A five, six, seven, My father was an opera singer. He had died when I was three. So I had the DNA in my blood. But my mother was nice Italian mother, parochial school, said, no, 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 please don't do this. Um, the only thing I really, truly enjoyed when I was in school was theater. But when you're in public school, you know, aside from after school activities and stuff, there's no curriculum that's theater. But she said, if you want to, go to Rhode Island Junior College. And so I did, to explore show business entertainment as a career. It showed me that I could choose my own path and make a real viable career out of it and have my work be my life's work more than simply my job. And, and I don't think I would have necessarily discovered that if I hadn't come to school here at CCRI. I was excited. Really, really, really excited. I was born and raised on Federal Hill, so Promenade Street was right down the block almost. So I used to sashay to school pretty easily. It was almost like an extension of family. For those of us who don't figure out how to be students, we can come here and learn how to be students. And then by the time we figure out how to be students and how to be practitioners of our craft or our field or our discipline, we get a degree at the end and move on to a nice four-year college, etc. So The environment was very nurturing and empowering and we all supported and encouraged one another. A major part of my experience here as a teacher is re-experiencing what I experienced when I was a student here through the eyes of my students. Um, they go through this process just as I did of getting educated in our art form in a really exciting and uh, lively learning environment. Michael Romano is the man that I would say mentored me 100% of the way. He did that to everyone and, and I think he appreciated how I did gravitate to wanting to learn as much as I could about the craft but he also taught me about the discipline that you need. I was into musical theater at the time, but he also brought so many other genres to us and we explored them and, and he educated us, empowered us. I love him. <laughs> at the beginning of each school year, we do a convocation. We had a nice big number of students this year and it's always a thrill to watch them come into this big giant theater, especially now that we've had the renovation. I know that this year, uh, quite a few students, when they first walked into the room, had that same expression, that same sort of dumbfounded reaction that I had the first time I walked into the space. I've played in thousand seat theaters before, but this is in the total round, which is an entirely different experience. Theater in the round is a, is a wonderful way to do theater. It's incredibly three-dimensional. Unlike traditional proscenium, audience on one side, actors on the other. I love the idea of the audience being able to see each other, not just next to each other, but see each other across the theater, see each other's responses. The fascinating part is being able to uh, divide it into the quadrants. So if you're doing something large, you can fill the place and address people all the way around you. Or you can divide it in half. We've done that before too. And then we've, we've, uh, we've also walled it off, you know, with those portable walls. Um, I've done smaller classical concerts where you want the more intimate setting. Our uh, technical director, Justin Carroll, and our uh, scenic design professor, Luke Sutherland, have become incredibly inventive at adapting the space through using drapes that they hang and uh, set pieces all designed to corral the action to this part of the big giant room or to aim the action at this particular part of the room. So, you know, it's, a, it's definitely a multi-purpose space. I also thought it had seen better days when I first saw it. It was still, you know, it was decades after it had initially been built, so it was in a bit of a state of disrepair. The theater has now got a new floor space, which for large productions like Hello Broadway, which I do in there every June, looks much better. 
I mean, the whole, the whole aesthetic of the place is, is, is much more attractive. After being here as a student and seeing the shape it was in back in the 90s, and then coming back as a teacher and seeing the, the shape that it was in when I first got a job here, and uh, to see what it's become is uh, amazing. I mean, they've really done a fantastic job in terms of how it looks and feels and works, so that's very exciting.